This is code.org, and we are in my neighbor.java, correct. All right. Instantiate a painter object called my painter. And we've done this before, right? They've asked for this before. I'm going to do it on line seven because that's under their comment. Remember, slash slash is a comment. It's just for us. It's uh, something the computer skips when running code. So instantiate, we're making an instance of. We're making a one single object that can be used. Painter. And then they want us to name our variable my painter. And let's do equals new my painter. Nope, nope, nope. I lied to you. New painter. And we have to put parentheses after this because this is a method somewhere that's going to run and then end in a semicolon. So let's hit upon this again. What's this ask the computer to do? It says, hey, computer, we have a new variable we're creating. The variable's name here is my painter. What type of variable is it? Is it an, is it an integer? Is it a word? Is it things like this? No, no, no. It's a painter variable. So the first thing is called the data type. It's a painter. This next thing is the object's name or the variable we called it, my painter. It's going to be equal to, and this tells the computer what to run. Where are you, what are you using to create this painter? New painter, it's a method somewhere. We can't see inside of this painter class, but it's a method that allows us to get all of the functionality of painter, all of the behaviors like move, turn left and paint. This method says, okay, go grab that stuff and give it to our new variable, our new object, my painter. So doing this means we can use all these tools, all these moves. All right, two, use move, turn left, paint, and take paint methods, ooh, take paint, new, to navigate the my painter object, to paint each square in the path to the cone. Okay, let's see here. Note, paint method takes a parameter, ooh, there's that word, to specify color. The color must be written in quotation marks. For example, paint white. Color name can be any of colors listed here, open in a new tab. All right, and then let's, I know those colors, let's take a look. Oh, this makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead then. And line 11, right under their comment where it says do to each square. All right, so line 11, let's see. First, I'm just going to do move in parentheses, semicolon. And this is going to break because the computer has no idea what this random move thing is. We know move exists, right? But it doesn't exist on its own. We can't see it, but it must exist in the my painter object, in the painter class. So to do that, then I have to do my painter dot move. And this will allow the behavior, wherever it is, to run. It tells the computer, hey, go look at the painter class, wherever that is. Again, we can't even see it, but go look at the logic there and run move. Because we obviously don't have anything called move here. So it's going to go run that code, make that behavior happen. Eh, that will make us move once. It looks like we're going to be on the paint. So I'm going to try this take paint thing. My painter dot take paint with a capital P because it's camel case and let's not miss the dot. Huh. Let's see what this does. Whoop. And I'm wrong. This is why you should check your code often. You want to make sure I often will run my code after every line. Easier to find errors that way. All right. So move. looks like we need a turn. My painter dot turn left again, camel case, lowercase t capital L semicolon and it looks like left isn't going to be enough because i'll be facing up so i'm going to do this once twice i think three times all right that should get me turned the right way let me hit run and just check go oh oh i try to move right away right so no longer i start right here i can't be moving right away let me get rid of that then all right and now let's put it down here bam all right let's see Quapow. Great. We got one. Notice this is a four, guys. So that means we have four more we can take. And I think we'll need it because look at all of these squares. One, two, three, four. And I think we even paint. Yeah, we paint right away. Okay, so that takes one paint. So I'm just going to do copy, paste, paste, 
You can also do Control V or Command V on a Mac. Uh, let's see, I need five. All right, hopefully that works. And let's test. Okay, great. Then I need to paint. How do I do that? Oh, literally paint. Oh yeah, this is where we get to pick a color. Cool. So I have the paint at this point. I'm going to do my painter.paint and now parentheses and a color. Mm, they did white. I'm going to do red. You pick your own. It's boring to always grade the same thing. Pick a cool color. Let's see. So I'll paint that square red. And notice that the word red is in quotes. It is called a string. It has to be in quotes. And so now that we have that there, I'm going to do it again. Oh, no, I'm not. Actually... Once we paint a square, we should be moving so we don't run out of paint. So my painter dot move, which should up parentheses, semicolon. And it looks like we'll be here at the corner. So then I'm going to go ahead and I think turn left, right? Oop. Bam. Okay. And once I turn left, why don't I paint red again? or green, or blue. Maybe I'll switch colors. Now nah, I'll stick with red. You could switch, though. Okay, let's see if I broke anything yet. Yeah, and now I want to keep going. So now, let's see. It looks like I would want to move forward and paint. And I have to tell it what color every time. I'll stick with red, I'm thinking. And then what? Move forward and paint again, right? So I think that's enough times. I ultimately did it once, twice, and we actually did it up here too in a bit of a different order. Let's see if I got there. Qua pow! And here I am, arrived. That's a good chunk of code, guys. Paint, take, paint, move, turn left. I might just clean it up a bit. Cool, this is looking good. And now it is time to test this. Qua pow! 